Hey y'all, so this is going to be a two for one tutorial. Because I think about questions that I'm asked even in um, the Real Bamboo Hustlers. And I know some of you guys are here from there and some of you are not. But some of you do the um, nameplate stuff. So sometimes I'll answer a question there and I'll be like, oh, okay, that'll be good. Because somebody else might have that same question. And if I have it in both places, then I think it's covered. So let's get into it. Let's let me grab some text and let me just put something simple up here. Okay, I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to layer and I'm going to raster the layer. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it because I told you guys I hate that box. Get it and cut. Get it and paste. And then I'm going to delete this. Delete and delete. So, and, and there a young lady was saying she hated having to do the layers for the eyes. All you have to do, guys, is select it, cut, paste. Do the same thing on the other one. Make sure that first layer is selected. Edit, cut, edit, paste. You can also do this in... um. Cricut in Design Space, you just slice it. Just grab a, um, a square shape and slice it. And then you just slide them, make sure they touch. Make sure that you can make sure you can go as far down or just make sure they barely touch if you want to. But just make sure they touch, that's all. And then in here, we're going to select all and, or layer in the world merge it merge visible and unlock it over here in Cricut you're gonna select all and weld that's it for that if you want don't want your eye don't want to have to do those dots for those eyes so again in here I'm just gonna go through with the full um, nameplate thing layer um, duplicate and take the back layer, add your stroke. I'm just gonna do it whatever color in here. I don't want it the same color, so I need it so you can see it. Add your stroke. Apply. Slide it over. This is just so so it doesn't confuse you. I'm doing this so that coloring it in so it doesn't confuse you. And just fill it. Apply. And then you would save this as a PNG file. Are trying to cut step back I don't want to cut it I just want to feel it let it feel okay apply hey so you just pull it in the Cricut, save it as a PNG, name it whatever, and pull it in the um, Cricut and finish doing the rest of your setup there if you want to. Whatever you need to do. But this is all for a basic nameplate name that you need to connect your eyes to. Okay. Now, for a multi-layered plate, 
that means you have more than just the top and just the shadow. You have an extra shadow piece. So we already have these two. So what we will do is duplicate this layer. And what we will do is click on the last layer and we will hit edit and not feel cancel. Edit and stroke. We're going to add an, a stroke to this layer. So we're going to do this layer in black. This stroke in black or outline in black. And we're going to go about here. Apply. Now you can add as many layers as you want to add. It is totally up to you. That is your business. Nobody's going to say of anything to you. Just do what you want to do. This is this all about your creativity. Let us see what you can do. So, teach us something, sis. You know? So, for this, we can move this one. And let's make this one all black. So, I'm going to fill this in with all black. Apply. So, now you have your name your shadow and your shadow number two so here goes that um bound the box again y'all can't stand it and i don't i don't work in here but i try to tell you guys in here because everybody can assess this and it's just easier to do it real quick in here so let i might cut it off So I cut it off, but it I'm doing undo, but it's not giving it back. So we gotta go do this again. And it's still doing something weird. Hold on, let me delete that. Now let's see. Okay. So I gotta slice it, so let me step back. Cut, edit, paste. I hate that box. You do not have to do all this. I'm doing it because I hate that box. So, layer, duplicate. And click on the back again. And click edit. And stroke. Add your stroke the way you want. I'm going to make it black. And then I'm going to click here, move this over, and then I'm going to click there, edit, fill, and I'm going to fill that with black. Apply. Okay. So again, you have your name, your shadow, and your shadow number two. And you just make sure they're separate. And you save them just like this as a PNG file, and you pull them into Cricut and do the necessary steps to do your layering so let's just say let's just do in here for instance you're gonna have this um glitter and you're gonna make it um purple purple glitter now let's say you're gonna do this in pink and then you're going to finish this one up in a gold foil this is for cut stuff you could do this for print then cut as well and I will show you that um, in another video at another time but you could do it for print then cut as well it's just a few less steps for print and cut than it is with um, this layering. So let's say you're going to have that gold. So when it all lines up, it will look like this. You will be able to see the other layers. So let's say this top was purple glitter. 
this was pink foil or pink glitter or whatever and then the back was gold foil or gold glitter whatever so then the front if you wanted to layer it up then you would duplicate this is in this is if you were in Cricut you would duplicate this layer as many times as you needed to so I'm going to turn this I'm going to uh, fill this with black so you can you will know that this represents black cardstock black so you do this as many times as you need let's say we were just going to do it three times so that's the three layers and the purple will go in front of that and let's say for this you're going to do the same thing let's say you have three um, inch layer duplicate and let's edit fill with black apply let's say this you have three black layers behind that and three black layers behind that or two and then three and then for your um shadow this would be this would actually be your shadow piece because or your base layer your um, background piece because it is it would be the last piece of the um, layer project so you would duplicate this and let's make it black apply so you do would duplicate this piece um maybe four four times because these will have layers if you do those in layers so you do this four times or six times whatever you want and then you would um put this piece glue that piece over top of them so then you would have all that glued down to those black um, cardstock layers and then these were glued to that and then all this would glue to that but it would line up perfectly so that's all you would do for a multi-layered nameplate that's it guys you can do as many layers as you want to do it's up to you and you know you can add your loops if you want to add loops this is for a necklace you can do all that over in Cricut too this is just the basic setup hope this helps